hello want to do a fire mage you know just pre-patch thing uh i'll keep up with the video though so i just walked out of the dungeon and walked back in because if you're in a non shadowlands dungeon that's what you have to do to make sure your conduits work so and soul binds uh, i'll show the build in a second i'm playing with pyroclasm and kindling and not master flame I'm playing time anomaly as well I do apologize, like, this is not going to be, like, the absolute greatest uh, Fire Mage Pyroclasm gameplay you've seen. I'm not very comfortable with Pyroclasm yet. But the main way that you play Pyroclasm, that was a time anomaly proc, by the way. The main way that you play Pyroclasm is you're just trying to wait to line it up with an SKB. And so here, you can see a Pyrocosm proc, uh, and I just want to save it till I get to 8 SKB stacks. There's the build, if you want to pause that. So here, 8 SKB stacks, 2 Pyrocosm, so I'm going to open with a Combust, and then channel my Pyrocosm, except Quaking fucks me. In case you uh, didn't know, so I, I am not running Master Flame which is a little bit unfortunate, right? Because now my Fire Blast doesn't spread. I should have Runa Powered there. Now my Fire Blast doesn't spread to um, eight nearby enemies with Ignite, but Phoenix Flames does actually still spread Ignite. So yeah, you should be kind of fine. I'm assuming that since Phoenix Flames still spreads, it still baseline spreads to eight like it did in Shadowlands. I could be wrong about that though. The only thing I've tested was that it spread, so. I am waiting, as you can see, to fire blast until uh, until I'm actually in combust. That's just because I still have Infernal Cascade. You won't be doing that in actual Dragonflight. But yeah, as you can see, it's a little bit scuffed. And here, yeah, I channel Pyroclasm. I didn't have enough time left, actually. So that was dumb. But. I shouldn't have ruined there because combusted so close. Like I said, a little bit of silly mistakes. It gets a lot better towards the end though. Then here I'm gonna try and get an SKP before I, I also got Pyroclasm. So now I'm doing this into combust, which is really strong. Two important things to note here when you're watching this. If you look on my left action bar, you're going to see that spell steel is grayed out, which is a little bit unfortunate considering the next boss. And the other thing is, right next to it, you're also going to notice that DB is grayed out. And so that's what I'm trying to do right here, is DB that thing. <laughs> but uh, I don't have DB. So I, you can see on the right action bar, I press blast wave super late. But yeah. Definitely talented to spell steal. There's a lot of spell steal applications uh, in season four. So, one of the things that I think I did uh, the worst, so as a time anomaly proc, by the way, just happened while I was casting rune, so I just didn't cancel rune. One of the things that I need to improve the most on is using fire starter. I was mostly ignoring it. So here I just decided to save my actual combust for the boss. This guy pulled pretty aggressively, so I definitely could have uh, just combusted here. But
I don't know when we lost it, actually. I'm not sure what I lost it. I thought I lost the boss, but I guess my brain's just bad. I must have accidentally pressed it earlier. Whoops. Oh well. So that was a bad pyroclasm because my combust ended, so I should have just finished combust before sending it. And here I shouldn't be SKVing. I should have uh, used shifting power first, but it's all right. You live and you learn. I'm going to build an SKB first before I can bust with my pyroclasm. Yeah, definitely. I decided to just finish casting my proc because I had a uh, power glass in there. So. But you can see I just didn't use my um, bracers. So, like I said, I've been uh, focusing a little bit on power glass and procs. Pretty easy for fire mages that, you know, spend a lot of time doing that, but not us frost mages. Anyway, I decided I didn't want to combust here. So, uh, probably was the wrong move because he actually has a decent amount of health left in the next section you just kind of insta-kill all the mobs but there you can see I got a time anomaly proc of combust and my SKB extended its duration to 9 seconds And then here, you know, what's a little bit of padding? We're gonna get a heat up and then go straight into combust. I shouldn't be channeling this because I'm very close to getting an SKB, so that was a waste of time. So I'm talking about is, if you're in combust and you're at like six stacks of SKB, you definitely just wait uh, instead of actually using your power plasm. That's that's not like a, a hard fast rule. Sorry, that, I'm just meaning that uh, you want to hold your power clause and procs in general for SKB. So around like six is when you want to start looking kind of and noticing if that's even possible for you. So here I'm just attacking this big guy, which is really nice. He has a bunch of health, so I can just I built my fire starter all the way up to an SKB, which is really strong. And then I got a time nolly proc right as I wanted to combust. And then, of course, quaking happened. A little bit of a scuff combust there since I had like, you know, seven, six, seven seconds left after the mobs died. But here I'm going to channel my pyroclasm because it's almost over, except I didn't have a blink, so it just uh, ended anyway. Fire starter coming in handy, getting me my SKB. And then I'm just going to channel this pyroclasm proc. I'm saving my shifting power just because I didn't want to combust this pack because they were dying so fast. So, And it is going to come in handy, as you'll see next pack. 
I need to move my tooltip, but add-ons are a little buggy right now. So here, I should have probably built to uh, SKB before combusting, but it ends up being totally fine. Though, <laughs> I don't notice the, that thing for Oxley twice. So I think I'm going to get stunned by it again here. Yeah, okay, so there's no, there wasn't any indication for that, I guess. At least none that I could see. Forming an SKB to go with this Pyroclasm. I get a less proc from Time Anomaly. Time Anomaly is underrated. And 71k. I might have gotten PI'd there, to be fair. We're going to combust with, well, I was going to try and combust with that Pyroglasm. Now I'll just do it with this SKB. i going to block that off. I could have invised. I do have greater invis. We're just going to sit this. I also could have uh, altered. That was a bad Pyroglasm usage because it wasn't in, I started it in combust and I didn't end it in combust. And so what that did was wasted like a little bit of my combust time. So. You are supposed to Ice Nova if you have no globals left in Combust, but I'm still trying to get used to that. That's what the uh, number weak aura is, by the way, if you're wondering, right above my uh, SQB stacks. That's how many globals I have left in Combust. We followed our tank out. And unfortunately, uh, you know, he was tanky enough to jump all the way over there. We were not. Unfortunate we don't have lust here, but this is going to be one of those fights that's pretty disgusting for fire uh, Gotta showcase a little bit of the rotation here in terms of I was going to build my SKB stacks to 8 and then I got a time nolly proc But anyway, you can see I build my SKB stacks to 8 and then I can bust We're gonna save this pyroclasm for SKB Gonna re rune just because my pyroblast would have exceeded my rune uptime. If that makes sense, I swapped to this guy because of the shield, didn't want to be hitting into that too much. You can see I open my character panel just to check my stats. Uh, it's because if you generally, if you see someone do that, it's because they just failed a scorch combo. Here I'm holding this SKB for my combust. I mean, I do it on this guy because the healer is going to sanguine shield himself right now, or very soon. There you go. See, I just wave my mouse around like a madman. I also shouldn't have uh, power claws in there, but the reason I waved my mouse around was because they shielded themselves, and I was on another target, which means I'm still good to like keep my ignite cleave going. So. But yeah, I don't suppose I've already mentioned this. I might have already said it. I don't remember because I've been talking for 14 minutes, but. By far, the best trinket that you can run is the Shadowed Orb of Torment. Oh, probably did another time anomaly. Very valuable. Uh, and I do not have that trinket, so we're running a little bit scuffed here. Could have done a lot more damage.
Here I'm going to use fire starter to get my last SKV stack. Showing why fire got by far the most quality of life in uh, Dragonflight. It's kind of disgusting how good it is. Though we are playing it with uh, insane amounts of hates because of season 3. So, so here I'm just going to use this fire blast to ensure I can get into combust. You can see the priest is just PI me at not random times, but you know, they PI'd me before I combusted. Like, six seconds before I combusted, so a little bit strange. Not sure like what criteria they were using to decide when to PI me, but and here I'm gonna channel this power blast. I definitely shouldn't have, because with Firestarter, you can see I'm I literally just get SQV right away. So that was a uh, a noob mistake right there. kind of forgot power, uh, I don't know, I, like I said, Firestar was the thing I fucked up the most this entire run, so. We only get two lusts, I think, because we could have lusted right here, maybe? I'm not actually sure when the, uh, the run ended, but. So, yeah, I channeled Shifting Power, but I got all my Fire Blast back, like, the second before I did that, from Fervent Flickering and, uh, Time Anomaly, so. Pyroclasm really isn't that bad when you, uh... So this would have been really nice if we went into this next pack, but we're gonna skip it, actually. But yeah, Pyroclasm really isn't that bad when you have 70% haste. It's only when you have normal amounts of haste that sucks to play with, in my opinion. So, I did save Lust for this, though it's probably best to use Lust on a Tyrannical boss as opposed to, you know, one of those fortified poles, but... I knew this was a disgusting Ignite Cleave thing, so I decided this is where we are uh, going to lust. And that's the nice thing about being the lust person. You decide when, because most people would have, uh, not most people, but you know, generally you'd rather lust the last boss. So you're going to see I'm getting my SCP off really fast, and then I want to get into Combust as soon as possible. I'm going to channel this Pyroclasm, even normally, just because I want to build up my Ignite onto these wolves. So one of the problems I had was uh, I just Fire Blasted my first few globals, and I couldn't really tell, but it didn't seem as though my... Um, it seems as though my ignite like instantly spread to everything. So what I should have done is used Phoenix Flames in my first few globals. Now here we're saving this Pyroclasm SKB. Pyroclasm actually just expired, so we'll just use this on my combust. Get sheep that because you can. Re rune because if I had power blasted. It would have ended outside of my rune. Hard cast power blast, that is. But yeah, this is in general very little damage. Like uh, someone running orb would be at 60k now, right now, if they also uh, Phoenix Flame spread. So I'm gonna do it here. Yeah. The sealer was doing a really good job. You can see I rune, that's because I decided I'm not gonna uh, combust again. Potentially a mistake, probably was. You should pretty much just use your things on cooldown. I get time anomaly proc though, so 
to have a time delay proc into an SKB. Uh, so we're looking good. I am rooted. I think he's doing that like leap thing on me. It's just I blinked out of it like at the moment he did it. So it's kind of weird. If fire escapes pre-patch without nerfs, I mean, normally they shouldn't nerf anything on baseline pre-patch, and to be honest, fire strength is a little bit accentuated right now just because of how much haste it gets from the affix, but, um, yeah, I mean, even in Dragonflight, this is already very strong. We know that from the beta. So, yeah, so this guy PI'd me uh, for some reason. I'm going to... Yeah, so you see I can bust there. I accidentally started hard casting. Uh, but I can bust it there because I wanted to make sure I had enough time before he smashed to get it off. So you just can alter up here because you can do that. And then time anomaly into an SKB, so now I have like nine seconds. That was just RNG, but yeah, he ran out of the way. I probably should have waited to channel that proc until uh until I had two stacks in front of Cascade instead of what I did, but that's all right. Minor little optimization. Then we'll channel my SKB on this guy. I'm a bit too free with my fire blasts. I should probably be conserving them a bit more. But in terms of just the opener, I think, of my uh, perfect lust proc right there, by the way. And I get power blasts and go with SKP. I have like a one second cast on my power blast there. It's like I'm playing tempered flames. Well, hopefully I yeah use my trinket there. And there you have it, 41k overall. I should show the overall here. It's literally just Ignite and Pyro Blast. You guys saw how that turned out, or how it came to be. The strongest build in AoE, semi-AoE so I mean build, is actually not running Kindling, and you take Master Flame and Pyroclasm as opposed to why I did where I took Pyroclasm and Kindling and just chose to drop Master Flame just because it the Ignite damage supposedly doesn't update dynamically after Combust ends. So it's mainly your damage outside Ignite, which doesn't or outside Combust, which isn't as crazy. The main thing that I viewed as impactful was having it spread your Ignite to eight targets instead of four, but Phoenix Flame should do that, uh, assuming it's still bugged, so. Maybe that's a little, a bit of an interaction that causes it to be worth. Anyway, thank you for watching. Leave any comments if you have them.